Okay, so this is the track that I've been working on. It's in D minor at 123 BPM. And this is the sample that I want to use. It's in A minor at 126. I can't help it. The negativity makes me allergic. All I ever see is frowning faces walking in the dark. But with a smile, love, love you like the bar just. And with a little bit of Cubase wizardry. What is up people, uh, Craig Lopez back once again with another tutorialism and today we're going to be looking at pitch shifting audio in Cubase. Now we're going to start off kind of simple using Loop Cloud to auto pitch a sample and then we're going to dive right down into that Cubase rabbit hole and come up with our own little melodic variation of that same sample. So we've established that we can use Loop Cloud to get a vocal in time and in key with our track. So this is the original sample. I can help it. Negativity. And this is the loop cloud process file which we can drag and drop into our project for a beat port ready banger. Of course in Cubase we'll have slightly more sophisticated time stretching and pitch shifting algorithms. So we can drag the unprocessed file from loop cloud into the project, select the audio clip Hit musical mode to get the clip in time with the project. And we can pitch the sample here. So this is the loop cloud version. And this is Cubase doing the same thing. Just a side note with musical mode for any of the beginners. Musical mode assumes that your audio file starts at the beginning of a bar and ends at the end of a bar. I can help it, the negativity. Which is obviously not always the case with audio files. In which case you can enter the BPM manually right here. Providing, of course, you know what the original BPM of the recording was. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how you can use the chord track to get a whole bunch of variations. But rather than go through all that again in detail, I'll put a link in the description below to that video. And for now, I'll just say that you can press on this button, play about with the drop down menu and see what Cubase has on offer. Right, so this is what we can do manually. Hit musical mode and double click to open up the audio editor. We can use audio warp to play about with the timing and we can use vary audio to change the pitch of the audio on a note by note basis. Because I'm using the chord track, the notes in vary audio are color coded. Green are notes contained within the corresponding chord. Blue notes are contained within the associated scale. And the red notes. Our survey said. <coughs> Right, so let's talk about Aura 2. So Aura 2 is a plugin format, and I mean, we're all familiar with the VST plugin format, which has been around since the beginning of time when Steinberg invented it. Now, Aura 2 has been developed by Salomony, I think in conjunction with Steinberg, and in total layman's terms, it just offers a deeper integration between DAW and plugin than the VST format does. Now, being the blessed man that I am, Salomony actually sent me over a copy of Melodin, which is an Aura 2 plugin, and you can access that within Cubase by clicking here. Of course, in normal people world, Melodin is meant for making slight adjustments to a great vocal performance to bring it into the world of a vocal perfection. 
So on that basis, Melodin has analyzed the melody of this vocal and determined that it is in this key shown here. And this is pretty much on the assumption that the track that we're working on is also in the same key as the vocal. But we are not normal, so of course the key of our track is not the same as the key of our vocal. So we can tell Melodin what key we are actually working in, and we can see the pitch grid update as we do so. Light grid notes are the notes that are in key, and the dark grid notes are the ones that aren't. And then we can snap all notes of the melody into the scale here. We can also balance out the dynamics and quantize the timing. Melodin can read our chord track. We can, of course, move the notes about, decrease or increase the pitch drift, change the amplitude of each note, determine the attack on the amplitude. We can even change the amplitude of just the sibilance if we want. We can split notes, change the timing, and the formant, and a whole bunch of other things. I can help it. The negativity makes me allergic. All I ever see is frowning faces walking in the dark. But with a smile, love, love you like the bar just I can help it. The negativity makes me allergic. All I ever see is frowning faces walking in the dark. And instead of worrying about the fact that the vocal no longer sounds natural, we can actually just lean right into it, make it a feature, and process it accordingly. I can help it, the negativity. 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 And I think I will leave it there for now because as always, I could keep going all night with this kind of thing. Now, if you made it this far through the video, do all the usual YouTube stuff, you will know the deal by now. But anyway, that's it for now. I've been Craig Lopez. This has been Tutorialism. Peace.